Hello everyone. So today we are going to uh, discuss about how to do the validation of your uh, Microsoft Defender for endpoint onboarding. Uh, in our last video, we saw how to onboard uh, devices in to Microsoft Defender for endpoint. And once we onboard the device into the portal, so now we we have to validate or make sure that the devices is successfully onboarded into the Defender for Endpoint. So in order to do that, uh, I have uh, three methods uh, I would recommend that we can uh, follow or uh, to validate the device onboarding. The one method is to directly check inside the Defender portal itself. I mean, go to your security.microsoft.com and validate the onboarding uh, status from portal itself. The second way of doing this you can uh, access the target endpoint and you can uh, use a couple of methods to validate whether the machine is successfully onboarded or not. The third method is uh, you can use the Custo query language uh, in the advanced hunting section and you can create the query and get the uh, onboarding status from the advanced hunting itself. So let me uh, uh, show you uh, how we can do this in the portal. So in the first method, uh, we are going to see how uh, we can check the onboarding status in the Defender portal itself. So before we go to this uh, method, uh, if you not uh, seen my previous video about how to onboard the devices into Defender for Endpoint, uh, I will put that in the description section. Uh, you can go and watch the uh, video for uh, how to onboard a device into Defender. Okay, uh, in method one, uh, we are going to log on to the security center, uh, which is our Microsoft uh, Defender for Endpoint uh, portal. Uh, I mean, Microsoft 365 Defender portal. Here, you have to go all the way to assets, and under assets, there is an option called devices. If you click on the devices, you will be have having the, the list of devices which got successfully onboarded in, in the Defender. So uh, here you can see that onboarding status is onboarded. So this is one of the way you can make sure that your devices is onboarded. And if you click on this devices uh, device and it will take you to the, uh, the more detail about that onboarded device. For example, at, uh, at what time it got uh, onboarded or first seen on the network and, and uh, what is the current status uh, and you can also go to the timeline to see uh, your uh, the telemetry data uh, that will be your almost uh, real-time data you can see in, in, see in, in the uh, Defender portal and um, and also uh, what you can I mean this is the one machine where uh, I have in my tenant so I, I could able to showcase only the one uh, devices here but in the real case uh, scenarios, you will be having multiple uh, machines here. And what you can do is, so you can export uh, the uh, report from here and it will export the uh, details in the CSV format and it will be uh, very easy uh, for the uh, management purpose. Uh, and, and, and for example, and you want to limit your uh, uh, exporting, uh, say you want to see only the Windows machine which is in active state, which have which is successfully onboarded into the Defender for Endpoint. So in this in that case, you can go to the filter section, and here you can choose the uh, OS platform. Uh, in my case, I want to see the Windows 11 devices, and I want to see only the sensor health status is active, and also the onboarding status should be onboarded. So I'm setting some condition here and if I click apply here and it will uh, pull out only the de details which matches with my filter. So now I have the list of uh, devices running with the Windows operating system and whose uh, sensor health state is active and which are successfully onboarded into the Defender for Endpoint. And if you export this and it will be uh, exported in a CSV format here. And if I open this file, uh, you will be having a, a, a little more details uh, about the, the particular devices, including your device ID and your voice build number 
and the uh, health status and your onboarding status so all those things will be available in this report so this is method one now uh, let's see how to check the onboarding uh, status in the client itself for example uh, this is my uh, machine which I have uh, onboarded into the different for endpoint. I'm putting the host name and you see here this is the name which we see in the portal is successfully onboarded. So now uh, here in this method uh, we can uh, check the onboarding status and your sense your defender for endpoint service or running status in using a couple of uh, methods. Uh, you can access the event viewer and you can go to the windows log and click on the application and you can filter current log and search for event id 20 to 0. So once you click uh, filter that event id 20 it will filter out the details about the machine's onboarding status. So here if you see here successfully onboarded machine to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So this is one of the way we can uh, make sure that uh, from using the event viewer the machine is successfully onboarded. And by using the command prompt, I mean after you open the command prompt, uh, you can uh, run a couple of, uh, couple of commands uh, to make sure whether our MDE send service is running or not so for that i'm going to type the command sc query sense so here i can make sure that my sense service is in running status since i'm already in my command prompt i will also use the same uh, command but for different service which is my defender antivirus service mean defend so here it is in running status so this is how you can validate the uh, service status in the command prompt. Now let's uh, check on the PowerShell one. So in PowerShell, uh, you can also use the PowerShell command like uh, get service hyphen sorry hyphen name, and you can type sense in the same command I can I want to see my uh, defender antivirus status also so if I run this command so here I could see that my windows defender advanced threat protection service is in running state and my defender antivirus service is also in running state so this is uh, uh, another method of validating your service using the powershell so now uh, we, uh, we, we can check uh, the onboarding status using the uh, KQL query. For that, uh, you have to go to your uh, Microsoft 365 Defender portal and go to the hunting uh, section and under hunting, you have the option called advanced hunting. So here you can create your uh, custom query uh, to generate the report. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create my uh, own query to validate um, the onboarding status. So here I'm going to use the device info table and I want to uh, project only the device name and onboarding status from that table. So if I execute this command, I will be getting the list of devices which got with the onboarding status. So this is the other uh, way of uh, checking your onboarding status by using the uh, KQL, your custom query language. So thank you everyone for watching this video and can, we will meet in next video. Thank you.